Alright, welcome back. So, we are going to design level 2 now. Well, you already know how to do this, so feel free to do this on your own. Just make sure to uh, watch out for the layer issues. Um, you know, remember, we need to add a UI layer for the score thing. But feel free to follow along if you want to. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I am going to first insert... Well, okay, I want to resize this. This is a little too small. Um, so I'm going to make this 3,000 by 2,000. Oops. Yeah. Okay, that's a little bit more room to work with. Um, so what are we going to do? Drag a... Well, no. First, I want to add a background. So add new object. Uh, tile background. And then I want to select my... Uh, background. What am I going to use? This one? Sure, why not? I'll use this one. Right click, align, uh, cover the whole layout, the whole level. Okay. Um, and then I'm not going to use this, I'm just going to lock it so I don't keep selecting it by accident. Okay, so now next thing is I'm going to drag in my player. And then I need my little tile map thing, right? Okay, so, it, so yeah, I cannot just reuse this one because the old tile map have the old level in it, so that's not going to be used. So we need to create a new one. Right click, insert new object. Um, so tile map, insert, click. And then I'm going to drag in the terrain pack that we got from here. And I'm going to use this box my level block. Just select this. Okay. Crop. And remember resize this to 80 by 80. Like before. Paste this out. And then when we click on the terrain, I mean the tile map and then click here. Oh yeah. So you see this is not the whole image and they change the this to 80 by 80. Okay. So now when I click on it, it selects the entire thing. And I can draw again my level. Alright, well this is just going to be the same as before. So um, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. So uh, I got my little basic level going on here. Um, so let's play this and see what happens. Oh, well, we go straight through our thing. Looks like we forgot to add the uh, solid behavior. So behavior, add new solid. Um, okay, so now it should just stand on there. Let's try this again. All right, so it looks like it's working. Uh, but. Hey, what's going on? Why is it not picking up the pineapple? Well, maybe we forgot to tell it to use event sheet number one because that's where we did all our programming. Let's check. So level two. Ah, event sheets. We need to select event sheet number one. All right, well, well, we'll save it just in case. Right, let's try again. Hello, welcome to Platform World. Alright, it's working. Okay, so now we have that, and then I guess we're missing the little score thing. Um, let's add that back in. That is text display. Let me drag it in. Put it here. And remember, we need to put it in the UI layer so that it travel with the character, right? Uh, so we need to go to the layers, right click. Um, well, you know what? I'm gonna do at at bottom UI because if I do add at the top, it automatically add everything to it. So that's annoying. Um, so I'm gonna change this to the UI layer. Oh, well, I guess that don't work because uh, <laughs> that means it's behind the background. Okay, I'm gonna 
drag it up top. All right, it's up top now. Hi. <sighs> okay. Well. All right. Anyway. So let's try this. Save this. Welcome to Platform World. Oh wait. Ah, uh, where is it? Oh yes, we forgot. Uh, parallax. Okay, change this to zero comma zero, and then let's try that again. Hello. Welcome to Platform World. All right. So that's working. Level two. Alright, great. So now, since this is level 2, I'm going to make this a little bit more complicated by adding a moving platform here. So I'll see you on the next video, but just make sure you do this first, okay? Bye.